Tonight we look at the future of self-driving vehicles. Would you get into one? Well, many people believe autonomous cars are coming and soon, but there are definitely safety issues that could put on the brakes. Correspondent Brian Yenis reports tonight from Pittsburgh. Whether it's picking up customers in Las Vegas or delivering a pizza in Michigan or Miami, today driverless vehicles are being tested seemingly everywhere. In fact, at least 40 cities in the U.S. are testing autonomous vehicles or are committed to doing so. At Carnegie Mellon's robotics lab, engineers have partnered with General Motors. We actually have a radar behind the logo. This 2011 Cadillac SRX drives autonomously, but with a human test driver on board and along specific city routes. The ultimate goal is to create the world's first fully autonomous vehicle that drives itself anywhere in any conditions. It's going to take at least, my estimate, eight to ten years before we likely reach full automation. And the race to be first is well underway. General Motors plans to launch self-driving robo-taxis with no steering wheels or pedals in U.S. cities by 2019. GM is in a dead heat with self-driving company Waymo. Waymo's driverless cars have driven over five million miles through two dozen cities. The Google offshoot will launch a ride-sharing service this year. But there are new New concerns about safety. Uber has suspended driverless car testing after its self-driving vehicle hit and killed a woman on March 18th in Tempe, Arizona. The company is now being accused of compromising safety in an effort to catch up with leading competitors like Waymo, an accusation it denies. Maybe now is the time to, to rethink about how, how Uber works uh, in the city and how it tests its vehicles here. Michael Lamb is Pittsburgh's city controller. Uber started testing its autonomous vehicles there in 2016. He admits his city hastily welcomed Uber under the handshake promise of a partnership, which he says is one-sided. We've opened the city to them, allowed them to test their vehicles here. Uh, they're out now collecting a lot of data. If Uber can monetize that data, shouldn't the city benefit from that monetization? 22 states have enacted autonomous vehicle legislation so far as government tries to catch up with an industry in the fast lane. Inclement weather poses a big hurdle for autonomous vehicles. Heavy rain, for instance, makes it difficult for car sensors to pick up objects. Still, Rethink X, an independent think tank, predicts by 2030, 95% of the miles traveled in the U.S. will be in self-driving cars. Shannon? Wow. All right, Brian Yenis in Pittsburgh. Thank you.